Hello everyone and welcome back to Orange Studios. And as always, I am Intruga. Now, today is 4th August and we want to celebrate Founders Day in Ghana. So we are going to learn how to do a social media flyer for that purpose. Let's jump in. So as usual, we are going to create our document and it's Founders Day. So we name it Founders Day. Everything else is okay. 4x4, four, four 300 RGB, perfect. Let's jump in. So to start off, I have some files that I'll be making available in the description. And uh, how do we want to do it is Ghana, Ghana is black, black star, gold and all that. So we want to play around these colors and see what we come out with. Uh, let's see, first off, let's draw a shape. You can as well do the other way or use the other way which is over here then you create a new solid so there's another way to do it but of course you are free to choose whichever way you want so as usual the first thing we are going to try to do is to create a background which in this case is very simple so i'll have like i said let's drop it in um let's take it above this layer and I want to choose a blend mode that would work much better. So in this case, soft light is the best option for me. I mean, overlay to is okay, but by the fact that the soft light brings out more white. So take it up there, apply a layer mask and wipe. Make sure the hardness of your brush for this purpose is set to very low, as low as zero. And then the, the opacity of the brush, and maybe there's something around 15 to any day about. So now I'm going to try to add some texture to the background. To do this, we'll use Adobe Illustrator. And um, I already have it open, so you move over to the shape select the line to line segment to then draw press and hold on shift as you drag it down now you want to give it a stroke one is okay the next thing you want to do is to move over to effects and then use um, distort and transform use transform and then set the angle to let's say 10 10 degrees yes 10 and then the number of copies to let's say 400 let's say 500 let's see how it goes okay so let's make it let's reduce the size of the angle let's say five so you can try as many times as you want until you are really really satisfied with what you've seen yes Okay, so this is it. This okay. Okay. Change this to white. Now let's, of course, let's just drag it to Photoshop. That's it. So press and hold on the Alt key and then drag. Make sure you cover every part of the canvas. So we are taking this below this. And then we are changing the blend mode to something like this. I think soft light again is okay. Let's apply a layer mask and erase some parts because it's too it's too loud. And so we are done with the background. You can put them in a group. Oops. Put them in a group and then name it background. Call it BCK. It's okay. Now, like I said, the next thing is to try to create uh, the text, which is Founders Day, but we want to manipulate the text. I'll be using the font Montserrat and uh, I'll be manipulating it so you follow along and you do as I do. Uh, let's make it all uppercase. So you want to count. The number of letters or characters we have here so we have one two three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine. So we are going to duplicate this nine, nine times. So, so we are going to start with the first one. Delete all other letters except the F. Okay, so we are now done with all the individual letters. They are crumbed up. And so we'll try and rearrange all of them to create our effect. So let's follow along. So we are going to copy the layer effects or the layer style we created for this and duplicate it on all the rest. So once again, select every other thing, save the old because it already has the effect and then right click on any side of the panel here and then this layer style. So the next thing we are going to do is to select all, convert to shape. Direct select two. So, so simply what we've done is to individually create a, a layer, a shape out of the text, convert the, uh, the text to shape and then we apply the gradient overlay and the drop down shadow so that it gives it this uh, dynamic look as if they are lying on top of each other, as if they are sheets of paper that are lying on top of each other and then we are arrange them and align them as we want them to be. So, so it's deliberate, it's, it's part of what we want to do. Okay. So once again, watch carefully, watch closely and follow along. Let's put all of this in a group. Control J and name it Founders. Now, we want to do something else. We want to write D, so D A Y. There's another effect we want to create for the D. Now, with the D, we want to go for a simple text effect, uh, like a hollow text. That's the effect we want to create with the D. So, you want to double click on the right hand side of the layer, and then the effect panel. But layer style panel will pop out and then you want to apply a stroke uh, white stroke is what we are looking for perfect and then come over here blending option just click on this it takes you to another place and then the advanced blending is what we want to change so we want to change this from 100% fill opacity to zero and that's it it's the simple so if you are okay with the thickness of the stroke you click on okay if you are not and you want to adjust just come back and you know adjust to whatever size you're looking at you can now reduce the spacing let's say 25 or oh, 
I say 50, yeah, that's okay. Now I want to make sure that the text is aligned to this. Wow, so uh, this is how far we've come. So, so far, not so bad. Yeah, it's bad because I didn't take time to crop it out. But if we were supposed to do a better project, I mean, not a better project. If we were supposed to do a real project, a real project, make sure you crop it out well. Now let's drop this. Perfect. One more thing, I wanted to add the Ghana flag to it, so um, to do that, I might have to put the Ghana flag inside the Ghana map. I don't know if it makes sense, but I want to merge the two, the flag and the map, and then have one thing. And minimize it. reason I think we have to cut our Ghana. Yes, we just have to cut it out. So let's just cut this side off. I mean so again if you didn't see what I did, let's take it again. Control D to deselect. I just added a layer mask by clicking on this icon, then we had this. Then I selected the mask to the rectangular marquee tool. So there we go. Make sure your foreground color is set to black. Alright, so there we go, we are done with this one. But we can play around it and see if we can get some other effect. Like I'm thinking of taking the F behind the zero and extending the hand. It's possible you can extend the stroke of the E, letter E, or bring down the stroke. I mean, we can do a lot. All you have to do is to make sure you have converted the letter to a shape. Then you just use the direct select tool. So for instance, if I wanted to extend this side, I would just use the direct select to select these two points and move them. That's, that's it. So we can do this. And then, yes. Uh, to make sure that this comes on top of this, just have to select this. Let me select this, apply layer max. Press hold on the control key, and then just click on this area. And I leave the control key, realize that the box on the pointer disappears so let's click on it and then move over here bring out the brush to reduce the size with the open bracket key yes click that's it so if you want to make it a more realistic thing you would also just apply a layer over this and then select this. Let's make it a little darker. You can also duplicate this and try some other effects and let's see how it goes. So let's just select one letter. I want to change the gradient from this to gold. Let's see. Okay, the first of gradient. Uh, and then um, let's reverse it. Okay. 
going to copy this layer star and apply it to all other said you can just play around it see if you can come up with something beautiful okay so there we go this brings us to the end of today's tutorial i hope it was very helpful if it was don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel and if you have any question kindly leave that in the comment section and i'll respond have a good time